What is up guys, Jeremy here and welcome back to another video and we got some more exciting news in the world of the iOS 12 jailbreak. There is actually an iOS 12 jailbreak that is available right now. It is the rootless jailbreak 3.1. This is a developer jailbreak. If you're an average jailbreaker, I'll tell you right now, I would not recommend using this jailbreak unless you really know what you're doing with it. Um, like I said, it's mainly a developer jailbreak, but it's also a very good step forward to an official jailbreak for iOS 12. This is one of those uh, things that's just going to help it along the way. Like I said, mainly a developer jailbreak, just so you guys know. This is something I will not be using on my device. Um, if it's updated for the A12 devices, I probably won't be using this jailbreak to install tweaks or anything like that. I will wait for an official uh, full-fledged jailbreak application on iOS 12. Like I said, this is a developer style kind of jailbreak. Uh, but anyways, before we get into the video, I want to mention that iOS 12.1.2 and 12.1.1 are still being signed by Apple, which is crazy. This is probably the most time we've ever had on getting on a firmware that's going to have a jailbreak for it. Like I said, if you guys are on 12.1.3, downgrade now to 12.1.2 or 12.1.1 if you guys want a jailbreak. I can't stress that enough. Get on 12.1.2 now before it's unsigned by Apple, and that would be the closing window for ever getting a jailbreak. Um, so keep that in mind, guys. Still being signed, which is crazy. Let's go ahead and let's jump into Twitter now. And uh, we will check out the tweets from Jake James. He is the developer of the Rootless Jailbreak 3.1. As you guys can see here, there is a link you can go to. There's the description of the jailbreak. There's usage notes. And then there is a readme. If you guys are, you know, <clears throat> a developer or a very advanced jailbreaker, uh, this is something that would probably interest you. You can read up on it. And then here's some more information about this jailbreak. Uh, can tweak the springboard, can tweak unsandboxed apps. Preference loader is broken. I think preference loader might be fixed at this point. Don't quote me on that, but he might have fixed it. It also gives you the ability to SSH into your device so that you can connect your computer and your device to the same Wi-Fi. And on your computer, you can basically browse the file system on your device and actually make changes to it. Again, like I said, that's something pretty advanced and I would not recommend the average jailbreaker to mess around with that stuff because you could screw up your device. Uh, probably not very stable at the moment, but no, nah, it's good. Uh, do not overload with tweaks. So you can manually install tweaks with this jailbreak, but he is recommending not to do too many of them because it could cause some issues. Uh, also, it says here, noobs don't use this. Like I said, if you're an average jailbreaker, don't use this. Uh, tutorial ETA soon and then read the readme uh, also like I said this is uh, compatible for a9 through a11 devices so the a7 and a8 which is the 5s and the 6 are not supported and also a12 like the 10s the 10s max and the 10r are not supported yet either uh, support will be coming soon for those he's working on it and then also here are a list of the unsandboxed apps that he has, home screen, lock screen, and stuff like that, the settings app, notes app, clock app, home app, and then iMessage has a question mark. So that's kind of the most up-to-date information I have on this rootless jailbreak. Um, I do have it installed on my device here, even though it won't work on an A12 de device, but I wanted to show you guys what the jailbreak looks like. Uh, if you guys want to download and install this jailbreak, you can do it through Ignition. Just go into Ignition. If you guys need to see how to install Ignition, I'll leave the video tutorial for that down in the description. But uh, we'll go ahead and we'll close out of these advertisements. We'll go into these sections. We'll go into Jailbreaks, and then there it is right there, Jake James, Rootless Jailbreak. And then you can just go ahead and click on get and install from this screen and it will install it onto your device. So let's go ahead and launch the, uh, <clears throat> the jailbreak. As you can see, very basic looking uh, exploits by Ian Beer and Bazad. Post exploitation is mostly from Electra and things from my own. 
powered by jailbreak lib put together by jake james you do have a couple of toggles here you can install isuper su and then you have the ability to have the tweaks enabled and from this point all you have to do is click on the jailbreak button and it will jailbreak your device so very simple straightforward a very simple jailbreak application like I said, I'm not going to actually click jailbreak on my device because this is the 10s Max, an A12 device, which is not supported for this jailbreak yet. And like I said, this is mainly a developer jailbreak. So this is something I probably personally will not be using. I will not manually install tweaks. I just don't want to mess up my device, cause a boot loop or something like that. I'd rather just wait for an official jailbreak application. But like I said, this is a great step forward for the iOS 12 jailbreak when the full-fledged jailbreak is released for it. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.